Hey, what's happening guys? In this video, I want to show you how to set up Clojure and use it with VS Code. So let's get started. I'm cool. yeah. The first thing you want to do is install a tool called Linegen. I'll put a link in the description below, but basically what Linegen does is it helps you to scaffold Clojure applications. I'm on Mac, so I'm going to install it using Homebrew. And to do that, I just go brew install Linegen. I already have it installed, so I'm seeing this error. But now what I can do is I can create a closure project using line again. And to do that, I go line new app and then the name of my project, which I'm going to call getting started. This generates a closure project for me called getting started based on the app closure template. So I'm going to open this in VS code. Then we can see the folders and files that line has created for us. And the entry point to our project is in this core.clj file and in this main function. So if we open up our terminal, we'll be able to run this if we just go line run and it will run our app for us. And we can see that all this function does is print hello world and there we see it. So Clojure allows you to evaluate your code in a REPL and there's a really cool extension in VS Code called Culver which will help us start our REPL and evaluate code in our files. So to install it, we just open our extensions and search for Culver and I'm going to install it here. And I'm also going to install another extension called rainbow brackets. And what this will do is it will color matching brackets, which is really handy for when you're writing closure. So let's go back to our project core.clj. So now let's start our Culver REPL. To do that, we open our command palette and we click on start a project REPL and connect. Then I'm going to connect to line again and use the uberjar profile. And we can see that we have the REPL starting on the right. And once this REPL has started, we'll be able to evaluate code in our editor. So if I just type plus one, one, and then option enter to evaluate the form, we can see the output here, which is two, as well as here, which is two. So we can also evaluate functions. If we define a function here called say hi, which takes in a name and then returns hi and name. We can evaluate this with option enter and then we can evaluate using it here. Cool. And that's a quick guide to getting started with Clojure in VS Code. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I've got tons of Clojure videos and I'm just making a whole bunch more. Cheers.